Are you still pottering? <laughs> what do you think you're doing? I went in to have a sit down and then kept thinking about what needed doing so I came back out. Right. Yeah. So It's changed a lot. It's changed a fair bit since you were last out here, isn't it? Mm. I've dug things up, given them away, chopped things down, moved things, and I'm happy with the result. Well, getting there, there's still a lot to be done, but we're getting there. Do you want to start over there in the corner and I can show you where we started? Let's start at the very beginning. No, let's not. <laughs> this area I was really unhappy with because you couldn't see anything. So I can't remember what I've taken out. I took out the Chinese plumbago. I've taken out some grasses. I've taken out a bamboo. I've taken out a lot. Moved, fiddled, but you can see everything now. There was something there, I've just chopped it because it looked straggly, but I think that's because it's finished. Yeah. The daisies are gone. Well, I've, I've chopped <laughs> them down, they are still there, and they seem to be coming back, they're growing from the bottom. Mm. Yeah. So all these things have now got room. Even that, that didn't flower this year, I don't know why. I'm wondering if it's because we didn't have enough sun this summer. Mm. Could have been, couldn't it? It's like we replanted the garden all over again. Yeah, it is. But <laughs> yeah. We've just taken out a lemon and lime hebe from there because it was dying at the back, but I'm going to try and do some cuttings from it. That is a white hebe and it was stunning. And it was in the trough bed over there. That Mr. R built. It was quite a root bound, wasn't it? And it was. <laughs> it, I mean, I've cut it. I've just cut it down. That's everything that's in there. Look, from that, it was like that. And the roots were this wide. Yeah, it took and me all my time to carry it over. Compact. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, it was massive. It wasn't needed. It? it needed putting in the garden. It definitely. Did. So there was a hosta there, but I've moved it over there and we've put it in the garden there underneath the peach tree, which now seems to have room to breathe. There was a winter hardy geranium under there that was never seen. I don't even know what colour it is. <laughs> <laughs> this was just lolled into the oleander. So I've chopped that back now, I've just cut that back, literally. I'm going to take this out and then we'll see the fuchsia and it will give the oh. helicopter going overhead, sorry. <laughs> there it is. It's the Medicop. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that will give the fuchsia room to breathe. But and the oh, carry on. <laughs> hosta there. Mm. It's only a diddy one, but it will. But grow. we've had a casualty of war. We have. Oh, yeah, one of your bamboos. Actually, it's looking. Oh, I don't know. It's it's got green bits on it still, but it's it's green not, at the top. But yeah, it's it dying at the bottom, happy. isn't it? And looking happy. We wonder if it's water because this is a really dry area because you've got massive, great big tree there. Well, I've got big trees all over the place Everywhere, and the yeah. eucalyptus next to it, which they're quite thirsty as well. Mm. So just wonder if it's not getting enough water. Uh, so we'll have to keep an eye on that and keep soaking it. Yeah, it did get a soaking last night, didn't it? Mm. Yeah. So that side of the garden I'm happy with and I've put a bag of soil over the top to tidy it up and to try to keep the weeds away. This area is now getting there. But I'm still wondering whether to take everything out and just put heat um, hostas in it. You having a mad minute, Ted? <laughs> <laughs> Ted's found something. Yeah. Definitely I've, something to roll in again. I've just spotted a weed under there, so I'll have to yeah. get back on my hands and knees. All right. This so side do not too bad, really. You pulled something out of here for me, didn't you? What did you take out? Daylilies. Yes. Yes, daylilies. That made a bit more room here because the daylilies were there and that was right in the middle of here. So I've moved it back. I've given that a haircut as well. The rose is going obviously because I can't grow roses. And I have a question for Mr. R. Oh, because you actually what? said that that <laughs> side of the garden has got no height. Yeah. 
I wonder whether to put this, the Italian thing, over there. I did mention it a while ago. Do you think? You may well have to dig that out then, and you'll have to wear sleeves because you're allergic to that, aren't you? Oh, that'd be hilarious. Or maybe, maybe just dig it and I'll move it. Oh, okay. Yeah, so... Not today. Next time we see you, this might be on the other side of the garden because, yeah, you're right, there's no height over there, is there? And you've got plenty of height behind it, so yeah. you don't need no. that as well. The Wygelia is um, really taking over and you can't see the hibiscus. Mm. I have cut a few of the branches off just now so you can get light to it because it's in bud. But I'm wondering whether that might need to be moved a bit. Maybe if you move that, we'll put that there. That would make sense, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Say goodbye. <laughs> We've had enough for now. I bet you have. I'll go back to me snipping. <laughs> okay.